How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video. And today I wanted to talk about the screenshot you're seeing on screen now in regards to the microtransaction prices that have been leaked. It seems the internet have gone crazy and somehow have managed without no base or foundation to work out the pricing of the shards. Someone has suggested that one shard will be one cent, therefore one dollar will be a hundred shards. This makes the javelin armor twenty dollars a piece. It makes the graphic for the shield four dollars. The fabric $8, an emote $12, this is extortionate. Now EA devs have come out immediately and said these prices are placeholders, they were just placed there so they could get a rough idea as to what it's going to look like and if changes need to be made then they'll make those changes. They've also reiterated this is why they don't release this sort of information until they're ready to announce something. These prices are not set in stone and as such there is no news. However the internet isn't taking it like and I for one kind of understand where they're coming from. If they're going to charge me $20 for a skin, I'm not prepared to pay for that. Now I've supported developers, I play a game called Final Fantasy XIV and every so often, despite the fact I pay a monthly subscription, I go to the cash shop, I see something I like, it is for real money and it is a physical cash price much like Fortnite. So if I see a minion that I like, it's like £2, I'll buy it. If I see an emote that I like, it's like £2-3, pounds, I'll buy it. If I see a mount I like, I'll buy it. There's plenty of mounts you can earn in game as well, of course, but then there are specific items that are only on the cash shop. However, I'm happy to do this because I've spent thousands of hours playing the game. I've played it for five years. Now, when it comes to Anthem, it's a brand new game. They really shouldn't be taking the piss. I know they're relying on all future content and all future updates and DLCs to be funded this way, but if they price it at $20, I personally can't support this. If they price an emote at $12, again, I simply cannot support this sort of behavior. It's just wrong. I know people are going to say it's just cosmetic, it's just emotes, but you want to look cool when you're doing your stuff. You want to look cool when you're flying around or when you're with your friends and stuff like that. You're going to see other people with it, you know. The whole notion of glamour being endgame is real. It really is endgame. It's part of it. It's so nice to be able to go out and see different javelins with different styles. It's a breath of fresh air. I love this in Final Fantasy XIV and I love it here in Anthem. If you look at games like Destiny or games like The Division, there's hardly any customizability. Yes, The Division gained it later on towards the end, but in Destiny, you're pretty much using two sets of armor and you're pretty much looking identical to every other titan. Here, a colossus can be unique in every single one of them. No two rangers could be alike. They could, they could be stuck with a default one of course, but if you started editing and customizing, no two would be alike and this is great. This brings personality, it brings character, it makes you get, it allows you to get connected with your javelin. But at these prices, I can't support this. Now I do hope the Bioware dev was telling the truth. I do hope that these prices will go down because $20 for a skin is too much. This is Fortnite prices. Even $10 to a certain degree is too much. The fabric canvas shouldn't be $8, it should be about $2. The graphic midnight shield should be about $2. The emote, I'd be okay with it being around $5. The metal diamond plate, again, two, three dollars. The skins should be around six dollars eight dollars depending on how many there's gonna be they can make the money and yes you are getting coin but look at the amount it requires forty thousand now we don't know how many the alliance is gonna give you we don't know how many the challenges are gonna give you we don't really know how the acquisition of this is gonna be yes you can earn everything in game but at the same time i think if they outprice it I for one will not be prepared to pay $20 for a skin. Even if it is the greatest skin on the planet, I just can't justify that. I think it's just way too much and at that point it's EA and not Bioware. So I really hope that this won't be a thing, I really hope that EA will listen and listen to the feedback the community is giving, especially with this image. I hope Bioware go back and say look guys this is the feedback we've got from this image if you are thinking of pricing things remotely at this point, don't do it. Change the scheme, go for something better and gain some credibility. Because if they come out with these prices, I can't justify or recommend anyone supporting this type of practice. $20 for a skin is outrageous. It's a cosmetic skin. You don't have to buy it, sure. But at the same time, they want you to buy it. It should at the very max be half the price they're charging. And even that, to a certain degree, 
is too much. Considering there's going to be a ton of players, you want to make buying for real money as accessible as possible. If you outprice everything, you're just relying on the whales. And why do you want to do that? So leave a comment below and let me know what you think. I just wanted to get this video out there because I feel really indifferent about it. I'm usually one of the people that don't, that doesn't really care for cosmetics. However, when I saw these prices and if those fabricated figures that people have magically come up with popping out of their heads is correct and it is one dollar for a hundred shards and twenty thousand shards is twenty dollars then i think this is a big problem and we need to nip it in the bud and make sure ea know that this is not acceptable however i do want to give ea and bioware the benefit of the doubt ea have learned a lot from battlefront 2 if you look at battlefield v you will see exactly what i'm talking about the cosmetics in there are adequately priced well priced and relative to what you're earning in game and to what you can get in terms of currency it doesn't feel dirty at least to me so let me know in the comment section below what you think are you prepared to pay 20 dollars for a skin are you prepared to pay eight dollars for a fabric $4 for a graphic on a shield, $12 for an emote. I mean, be realistic. What are you prepared to pay? I'd really be interested to see how much people are actually willing to pay. So, I mean, I know some of you are going to say, no, I'm not willing to pay for anything. It should all be free. You're delusional. Nothing is free. It costs money to make content. And because it costs money to make content, that money needs to be recuperated. It's that simple. Nothing comes for free in this world. So I can understand the cash shop being there. I can justify it being there. It's the prices I can't justify. So, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to do all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, share. It really means a lot. It helps the channel grow. It helps the video grow. And ultimately, the fact that you're supporting me, it means a lot to me. So, with that said, you can follow me on the Twitter. I have a Discord. All the details are in the description below. Until next time, I'm a legend.